Hi Gemini, this is going to be a general love reading for July 2021 and it is for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. And it is general so it's not going to resonate for all of you and that is okay. You can check out one of your other signs if you want or you can book a personal reading for which all the information is in the description box. Also the roles can be reversed or interchangeable because it is a general reading. Now, let's see what is going on with Gemini. First half of July. I feel like your readings are always or almost always pretty complicated. So let's see. Okay, for your situation, we have the Page of Pentacles crossed by the Moon. Okay, so it feels like, you know, there's there's a new direction or a plan that you want to follow. There's something that you are trying to, like, formulate in your, in your mind to move towards. Could be you, could be, or could be the other person. But there is a fear that is keeping you from doing that or keeping somebody from doing that. And I feel like it could be that there are doubts when it comes to intuition here. So it's like somebody is really trying to figure out a way, a practical way of moving towards a particular direction, but they're doubting their intuition on this, which is creating fear. Let's see, for the recent past, we have the Four of Cups, all right? So there was some disappointment here recently. And in the near future, we have the Six of Pentacles. Okay, so this could be movement towards being able to give, being able to provide more, somebody being able to reciprocate an energy here or balance something out. Let's see, for your energy, we have the Tower. For them, we have the Sun. More about you, we have the Page of Cups. For them, we have the Hanged Man, and potential outcome is the Ten of Cups. Wow, okay, well that's that's a beautiful card to end this reading with. All right, Gemini, so. I feel like you're going through, you're going through a crisis here. There's a lot of emotions that you hold, and I feel like you you might actually be holding back from expressing these emotions Maybe you have expressed them in the past, I don't know, maybe not, but I feel like there's there's a lot of emotions that you hold. You're still open to this connection, or you're actually very open to this, but there's also some kind of a crisis that you are undergoing at the moment, which I feel is actually either divine intervention or it is really serving a higher purpose here. All right, for them we have the sun and the hanged man. So that's two major arcana cards for this person. Um, for some of you, you could be dealing with a Leo. Some of you could be dealing with a Pisces. Let me just call those out, although it does not have to be, okay? Um, this person is trying to find their happiness. I feel like this is somebody who may have been either staying stuck in a situation or just waiting waiting, just being passive, waiting for something to happen, or trying to just more deeply understand something here. However, I do see them, first of all, I feel like they feel a sense of fulfillment with you. So this is something that they would want. Um, again, roles can be reversed, so take it as it resonates. But I do see some balance coming up here as well as, I mean, Ten of Cups, wow. That's definitely love. Possibly a coming together. Maybe you already are together, but I see things really clearing up here with that Ten of Cups and finding that fulfillment. So let's clarify. Let's clarify the Page of Pentacles with the Moon.
right, we have the Queen of Cups, the Two of Swords, as well as the Hierophant. All right, Gemini. Again, with that Queen of Cups showing up, I do see that somebody is not trusting their intuition, especially having the Two of Swords with that. Somebody is not trusting their intuition when it comes to a particular commitment, um, even this, this connection, or for some of you, it might be concerning another connection. It doesn't matter. But there's a lot of doubt when it comes to intuition, and I feel like that is the obstacle here. That is the challenge here. Somebody really overcoming those doubts. So it could be that whatever whatever this person's intuition is telling them, whether it be you or the, or the other person, um, it might feel like it's something contrary to what logic would say. It might feel like it's contrary to what would be practical. It might just not feel like it's the most practical thing to do, but the intuition is insisting. And this is what is causing some, some issues here. Let me see the Four of Cups in the recent past. I'm curious as to what this disappointment might be. It could even be settling in some cases. Let's see, Four of Cups. All right, the Six of Swords, the Page of Pentacles again, and the Page of Wands. So I feel like somebody, somebody moved away from <laughs> taking action again on, on a particular plan. I feel like the drive was there, the passion is there, the motiv there's motivation. That's the issue. That's that's the thing. That's what's what's crazy about this is that there's definitely some motivation here. But I feel like just when this person thinks of this plan or tries to take a step in that direction, it's almost like then they abandon it. And that leads to disappointment. And I feel like it leads to disappointment on both sides for the both of you. Let's see the tower for your energy. All right, the six of cups and the sun. Okay, interesting that the sun is showing up again. So definitely some of you could be dealing with a Leo. Let me know if you are in the comments. You're feeling like your happiness is destroyed or that happiness is just not possible. Um, and I feel like you may have associated this happiness with this person with, or with some person from the past or with a dynamic of how things used to be in the past. And this could be why you're going through a crisis. But... I feel like, you know, this tower, though, whatever it is, whatever this crisis is, even though it, it feels like your happiness is being destroyed, this is actually something that is needed in order for you to actually find that happiness once again. Because I feel like it was there at some point in your life, whether it be with this person, whether it be without, a, without this person, it doesn't matter. Just really finding that um, hope for happiness or knowing that you can have that. I feel like this, this reading is similar to um, Aquarius. I'm doing your reading last out of the air signs because it just always feels like Gemini is a little more complicated, as I said. And it does, it does kind of feel that way. It still kind of does. All right, let's, uh, let me see the page of cups for your energy. I also get that you're, 
you're just really longing for something from the past. And again, you feel like that is that is either destroyed, but mostly I feel like you're you're feeling like a shift. You're feeling yourself shifting. You're feeling that there is some kind of a transformation that is happening with you. Which again, it feels like it's destroying your happiness on the one hand, but what you don't see is I feel it's moving you towards your happiness at the same time. So it's very interesting, and again, it does feel complicated. All right, so clarifying the page of cups, we have the king of swords, temperance, and strength. Wow. All right, so definitely, definitely some... Um, it's coming through as a transformation, even though these cards do not necessarily represent transformation. Because I feel like, you know, you're, you're wanting to follow your heart here you're you're open you you know what your feelings are you know what your emotions are you're very clear about that and it's a matter of just really finding your inner balance which actually takes strength and this is something that you are discovering that in order to find balance within your emotions you need to be strong about something about a particular situation or just within your own self and you're finding that strength to also be determined about something here, finding some determinism. I mean, having both the King of Swords as well as strength, that's a lot of power. That's a lot of strength. And that's also determined to be strong. But doing it in a way where it's not just going to be impulsive. No, it's going to be, it's going to be very balanced. It's like bringing peace a peaceful energy to this to the strength of this determinism if that makes sense when it comes to following your heart it's kind of like you need the balance of both strength as well as peace like you you can't just what your understanding is that you can't just act off of um, a crisis for example right having this crisis like, no, you need to balance yourself first, and that's what you're doing. And it's not easy. It's definitely not easy, but you're doing it. All right, let's see what's going on with them. Again, roles can be reversed. See the sun? The king of cups and the three of pentacles. All right, so a lot of emotions here on this person's end. Again, this I feel like this person is, is working hard, trying to really find a way to, um, to have happiness. They have a lot of love for you. There's a lot of emotions here, and they're willing to work with you. I almost even feel like this person would want to somehow possibly even offer you some assistance or just willing to cooperate or maybe even compromise in order to find some kind of a middle ground. Let me see the hanged man. I feel like they're not doing much though. I feel like it's it's more like it's more like you're the one who has the ball in their court. That's just how it feels, but definitely again, roles can be reversed. Let's see the 8 of swords the Eight of Cups, and the Knight of Cups. Yeah, okay, so this person um, has not been very active. This person has been passive in this, possibly waiting. And that's why I'm saying I feel like the ball is just in your court, unless the roles are reversed. I don't know, maybe some of you are cross-watching. Um, but I feel like this person felt very helpless pretty much in this situation, felt very trapped, felt like there wasn't anything that they could do. Like all that this person can do is just be willing to compromise with you, to collaborate with you. Um, once whatever here is resolved, I see this person detaching emotionally from this feeling trapped. or possibly from even overthinking the situation, um, releasing certain fears, 
when it comes to this connection. I feel like this is a person who was just either really wanting to offer you this love, um, but was stopped maybe by you, or they were waiting, and I feel like this is the most likely situation, is that they were waiting for you to come in and offered them this love, and this was something that they could have been obsessing about, but I see them kind of moving away from that obsessive type of an energy or obsessively waiting. And it doesn't mean that they don't want this. It, They do, but I feel like what's happening is that now this person is just at a more balanced place, feeling more whole within their own self, still wanting this with you, still wanting to work with you, still having a lot of emotions. It's just not in this... Um, feeling trapped like there's no way out kind of a kind of an energy or if this person was stalling if because for some of you I do feel like it's it's two different groups here and this is why Gemini is always complicated I feel like this person may have been stalling on something because of fear whatever that fear is again they're releasing that all right, either way, this person is releasing some kind of a fear, some kind of an overthinking, feeling like, you know, things are doomed and they're willing to work with you. Let's see the Six of Pentacles. Oh, okay, the Eight of Pentacles. All right, wow, this really feels like there is... Okay. This really feels like there is some kind of a working together here coming up in the near future. Or if it's not working together, it's both of you equally um, putting in effort. There's an equal give and take here. So there's an equal effort that is being put into this. And it might not even be exactly together. For some of you, it could be that each of you is just doing their part separately that needs to be done. And whatever that is. All right, now we also got the Five of Pentacles and the Nine of Cups. So I feel like, yeah, you know, in order for this to even happen, there's, somebody might feel um, possibly left out. And it could be a different, maybe it's another situation, a different person here. Or it's that somebody needs to abandon something else that they would really want to have. Or something, you know, if, if somebody was being a little bit selfish, you know, wanting everything, I feel like this is all about putting in that effort, realizing that you can't have it all. You know, sometimes there's something that needs to be compromised in order for there to be balance. So I do see some effort being put in that direction. All right. You know what? I don't even need to clarify that. Ten of Cups. <laughs> Ten of Cups is the Ten of Cups. It pretty much just says it all, all right? Things are moving in this direction of love, and I'm just going to leave it at that because that's just what I'm getting here. And if you feel like, you know, if you're watching this and you feel like this is a situation that you're just done with and you just don't want anything to do with this person, then this was probably not your reading, all right? Because um, I don't see that here. All right, Gemini. So... If this resonated, let's get your final oracle message. All right, and we have a full moon eclipse. Conclusions are within reach. I definitely feel that, all right? With that 10 of cups, something, you're reaching a conclusion here, all right? That tower is coming down, whatever that is, and it is leading up to the sun. It's leading to this 10 of cups. It's within reach. I feel like it's just right around the corner, pretty much. So those are your messages, Gemini. Thank you so much for watching and much love.